Bear, come over here. Come this way. There you go. Good bear. Come right through here, bear. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on the Rebirth Purge mod. We're starting off this episode with a, another horde that just showed up. Um, looks like there's a bunch of them way down off that way, too. So I want to group them all up, and then we're going to nuke them. I don't have a whole lot of ammunition, so... Um, and they got a buffer, too. There he is right there, the guy in the white... Shirt. Hey, stay away from my cop car, assholes. They're not damaging my car, are they? Okay. Um, I want to try... <coughs> I want to try the red T because it... Oh, shit. Makes us go fast. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, shit, there's a bear. Ooh. Bear, come over here. Come this way. There you go. Good bear. Oh, shit. Come right through here, bear. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, let's also get our buddy out here. And light these guys up. Sorry, Nick. Poor Nick. Oh, this is great. Look how fast I can move, man. We got to kill this guy. Okay, he's dead. This is amazing. I love it. Red tea is the bomb. Get him. Oh, the bear's... The bear's not dead. Bear. Bear. What the hell, man? You're a big motherfucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come over here, bear. Oh, God, I love red tea. <laughs> Ramsey, you're awesome. Shit, how tough is that bear? Good lord almighty. Oh, by the way, uh, I, whoops. I can now make the steel axe, level one steel axe. That popped when I was cutting some wood. And as you can see, I've really, uh, I've really cleared this area out too because, um, you know, so I can really see these assholes coming. All right, wow, that bear is still alive, and Nick is almost not. Uh, come with me. Okay, bear. That is just frightening as all get out. <laughs> um, I guess red tea is good for another two and uh, three minutes. I think it's a five minute thing. All right, bear, we're gonna burn your ass. See, I don't have any health bars on him, so I don't know. I don't know how close he is. 
Level three soldier, baby. Woot woot. Okay, let's just do single shots. Oh, we got him finally. 2,000 XP. Holy smokes. <laughs> it's frightening as all get out. Oh, God. Okay, let's see how much meat we get off of him. See, there's two sizes of bears in the game now. And this is the big one. We got 33 things of meat. Isn't that what we got off the little bear, too? So it doesn't look like we get any more. But 2,000 XP, that's pretty damn good for a single creature kill. All right. Let's pick Nick's bag up. Yeah, he was, uh, he was getting down there. I know I can heal him with the bandage, but there's just too much happening. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> I'm still moving fast. I was in the middle of working on the base here, so uh, we're getting close to having it be ready. Can I even jump higher? Nah, probably not. Um, so what I was actually about ready to do here before those guys showed up. Well, here, let's, let's finish putting the blocks in place. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to break out this ladder and I'm going to put a hatch here. So, you know, um, so we can get in, but in case the zombies can still get up on the, on the roof here. Um, you know, I want to, and we're going to put a steel hatch down too. I want a, some decent protection there. And I don't know, I don't know how well this horde base is going to work. Uh, it might f fail miserably, but we got to give it a try, right? We haven't, haven't, haven't given it a, a chance yet because it's not ready. Um, okay. So now what we're going to do is... Um, here, let's, let's upgrade all the blocks that are going to be around the hatch. The only one that actually matters, though, is the ladder, because that's what it's going to attach to. Oh, red tea, man. <laughs> Ramsey told me it was good stuff, and I believe it, man. We saw it in action. That is fucking amazing. Okay. Let's go, let's grab this... I just have a wood and then a an iron and then a steel. We're just going to upgrade it that way. Uh, which way is the arrow going? Yeah, let's have it go that way. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's get the rest of this top part upgraded. Okay. And I accidentally, well, I had a weird thing happen. This block visually appeared like it was cobblestone, but when I upgraded it, it upgraded to steel. It's really weird. Oh, we're out of boards. Shit. Okay. You have to go uh, make some more. So assuming I have, you know, the time and whatnot, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to put this down next to the hatch because the zombies, if they do get up here, they'll probably attack the hatch. Um, I wonder if we could actually put it up here. Eh, I don't know. I mean, we put it up here, but it, will it, will it still attack them? I guess the, we, we could, you know, try it out at some point and see if it works. Okay, so yeah, we just got to get those upgraded, and then um, the way that we're going to get up there is I'm just going to put you there, and then we'll just jump up. Oh, shit. Hmm. Yeah. Let me try that a couple times to make sure I'm practicing it, because we don't want to fuck that up right in the middle of a horde on our ass, right? Yeah, it, it works. I, I think I hit the space bar again, and that's what kicked me off. 
Let's well, see, that time I didn't hit it. Yeah, you know what? We better put two on there just just in case, because I could I could see myself totally screwing that up in the in the heat of the moment, you know. Uh, because I mean, theoretically, they're not going to be walking here anyways. I mean, that's the theory. <laughs> we'll see if that becomes the reality of it. But um, yeah. All right. Once I'm finished with this, then we're going to work on this. And I believe I mentioned this to you in the last episode, or maybe the previous episode my plan for this is this little foundation here i'm just going to build it up probably four blocks high and all the way to the tower and it's just going to be one big thick chunk of concrete um and maybe even eventually at least the outer parts of it i'll upgrade to steel um and i i think that's you know i i think that'll do us good for now maybe not later on when we start getting seekers but for now I, I thought I saw a block here that needed to be. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it, it should work for now, you know, and then they'll come, they'll attack. I'll eventually notice and I'll just replace the blocks as needed. And we should be good. Now, I went out and cut a shite ton. Here, let's upgrade these. You know what actually I think I'm going to do with these? I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to take them with us, and we can actually maybe use these to block entrances in POIs. Because, you know, these few here and there are not really doing a whole lot of good at this point. Okay, yeah, so that gives us eight of these. And, um... Maybe we can put them down there for now, I suppose. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. Do I have anything in here? I don't think I do. Nope. So the plan for today's episode is to go look for another tabletop, uh, stove, tabletop thingy. And I also want to go to the desert and mine some oil shale. And we're only going to be able to stay in the desert for... For five, uh, ten, 10 minutes? Is that, I think that's what a, a vitamin lasts for. Or no, 12 minutes. So, um, I made some, I made some golden rod tea because we get a 40%, well, 100, 140. Is that like another 140 or is it just 40%? I don't know. It, it's good, whatever it is, right? So we're going to take that with us to the, to the desert. And, um, maybe we should. Let's make some coffee, too, for the, um, you know, just for the stamina boost. Because I want to I want to maximize, I want to get as much oil shale as we can in the short time that we'll have to, you know, to do all that. That needs to go to the shredder. Uh, that, that can do an ammo exchange. So, yeah, we'll keep that in there. I, I'm going to drop this stuff off at the trader. Uh, we can pick Nate back down now. Kane. <laughs> Wrong mod, dude. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. Food. We're in reasonably good shape on food. Uh, I got a lot of meat here, as you can see. But, uh, oh, I guess we still have some bacon eggs. In fact, you know what? Let's take all of those with us. Since, again, we're heading out to the desert. And if we have time, I should grab some yucca whilst we're out there, too. I will get the garden going, I promise. It'll happen. It's just, you know, we, we got to prioritize. The horde base is the number one priority. The base of the base is the second priority. Once those two things are done, then we'll work on the farm. And we'll work on spiffing this place up and getting organized. It will happen. It just, you know, it's got to happen one thing at a time, right? Look at our uh, money, man. We're almost up to 10,000 coin uh, or cash. Uh, all right. We're really low on ammunition, unfortunately, uh, because I need, well, I need to go get resources. I don't have any lead left. I hardly have any brass. Um, and we're also pretty, pretty out of gunpowder as well. So off camera stuff, of course. So I, if we go to the desert at night, is that going to be 
Is that going to be bad? <laughs> uh, maybe we should look. Maybe we should go hit a couple of, of POIs until morning, and then we'll head over to the desert in the morning. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. The desert is over this way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to go back to Bob's Boars. I put a whole bunch of shit in the mailbox there. And something occurred to me when I was editing that video. I wonder if the fire destroyed all of that corn seed. If it did, that is just a sad, sad state of affairs. Either that or it's all floating in the air. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just stop back by here real quick. Um, I want to grab all that stuff out of the mailbox because I know I had some brass in that, uh, in and among that, uh, you know, amongst other things. The house is completely gone. Yeah, so we have brass here. So we want all of that. Let's just look at this for a minute. Oh man, that sucks that we lost all of that corn seed. I'm I'm sure there's probably another another Bob's boars on the map somewhere, but yeah, it's gone. Oh well no, there's some down below. Okay. Everything that was up above is gone. Probably happened when, you know, the blocks collapsed. It's funny that some things like that picture and whatnot just stay suspended in air though. Um right, okay. So I want to grab uh just the corn. I'm not gonna Where in the oh I was gonna just about have a conniption because I couldn't find my shovel. So let's grab the corn seed. That's a lot of corn seed man. And we might as well grab this stuff too whilst we're here. Um, should we get the gut piles? Sure, why not? Ugh. The majority of the corn seed was down here, but there was some on the upper floors too. Uh, you know what? That's a decent amount of iron. Let's grab it. Might as well. It's all good resources. Um, now let's grab the iron over here. We'll pick these two things up for selling. This isn't pick upable. Nope. All right. 44 corn seed. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's grab this iron too. Okay. There's um There's a decent amount of nitrate down here, but I can mine that easily enough. I don't think we need to grab it. There's a bunch of corpses in here. But I'm not going to grab that right now. See, these were worth 30-something, right? Oh, only 12? Eh. Can I, uh, oh, these were worth 30-something. These servers. Yeah, 33. Okay, let's grab those. Uh, what's... No, I, have to, I don't think I can sell that. Can't pick that thingy up. Those, I, I know I could wrench those, but I don't think I will. Is this also just going to sell for six? Or 12? Well, what the hell? We'll pick them up since we started to. Yeah, I don't think any of that corn out there is any good. So we picked up a few resources here. Um, this will give us a radiator. 
So I'm going to run all this shit back to the base, run the stuff down to the trader, uh, and get some brass scrap going. I'm going to come back to the base, make a few more bullets, and then I'll meet you guys after that. At, uh, what time is it? It's almost 2. Yeah, I'll meet you guys after that, and then we'll we'll go out and see if we can find another tabletop. But we're going to head to the desert in the morning, or, or at least sometime tomorrow during the day. All right, guys, it is morning, and we are here on the west end of town. And there's that little patch of desert that we found just dead ahead. So, um... You guys were telling me that I could find a Kim Bench in the Judy Witch place, which is right here, but it's a tier four, so yeah, maybe that's not a wise thing to do at this point. There's a lot of good resources in that place, though. We just did it on my vanilla server uh, last night, but yeah, we'll worry about that later. I don't, I don't want to take on a tier four. I, I still, I'm still pretty low on ammo too. Okay, so the thing about the desert is we don't want to go very far into it, A, and B, we need to find the closest oil shale that we can. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop one of these, and that should make us immune from the desert biome ailments. Um, we, I also wouldn't mind getting some sand, but oil shale is the top priority here. Some sand and aloe would be nice, actually. So let's start looking around. There's a whole other city over there, too. I think all the biomes have a big city in them in this mod. We got some piggly wigglies. All right, where the fuck is all the oil shale? God damn it! I probably drove by some already, huh? Um, if I didn't already say this, I'd also like to grab some yucca too. Oh, there, uh, no, that's lead, right? Yeah. Nope. Don't care about that. What's up, bummer, man? I, I was hoping we'd find some, like, almost right away. So just keep looking. There we go. Oh, good. And it's right next to the forest, too. Okay. So what I'm going to do is mark this. Uh, no, not a quick waypoint. Whoops. Awesome. Okay. Let's get to digging here. We don't have any hostiles around, do we? Uh... Yeah, that vulture shouldn't attack us. So let's take a, a golden rod. Now, I do have a question. I know we can um, put mine shafts down, but when I when I look at yeah, when I look up mine, they're all locked. So how do I how do I unlock those? I don't know. There's some kind of icon over here and I can't tell what the hell it is. I don't even know what that is. Is it something I have to buy from one of the vendors, maybe? Oh, you know, maybe what we ought to do is check the farmer. He might have those, actually. I'd, I've only looked at the farmer one time, and it's when we bought Nick, so... That might not be a bad idea to go check him. Oh, uh, let's take a coffee, too. I didn't grab the other coffee that I made. Bummer. Um, and we need to make sure we have a way to get out of here, too. Especially if a horde shows up. 
So this is getting us some sand. That's good. Also need that. Whenever I make a, a mine in the in the desert in this game, I just uh, I just collapse it because the ground's so brittle that you know it's it's too hard to keep a you know a, a, keep go underground without without collapsing. So I just dig until it falls on my head. <laughs> well, there's lead. Okay. We need that too, but I can get that in the forest. I don't want to really spend time doing lead. Okay. Excuse me, Nick. Um, let's go here. In fact, here, let's get you over here so you're easier to get to. All right, we have four and a half minutes left on our vitamins. Hmm, that it? This is all um, lead, I think. Well, let's. I'm not seeing any more shale. It wasn't a very big vein. Okay. Well, shit. Um, let's go see if we can find another one then. We can always, we can always pop out. How how many do I have? I got three vitamins. Okay, we can always pop out of the desert and replenish the vitamin. We have 1350 oil shells so far. Uh, I don't really want to get into this rugged terrain here. Yeah, that was a. That was a wimpy oil shell vein. God. I don't think I've seen one that small in, I don't know, how long. All right, let's pop out. Back into the forest here. Um, We'll consume uh, one more vitamin. And then <clears throat> tier three outfits. Oh, nice. That means we can make medium armor now. I'll probably wait longer, though, and, until that gets up. You know, we, we get the higher tier stuff. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, let's just keep looking. But this will be the last vitamin I'm going to do for now because I only have two left then. That's a bummer, though, man. I was hoping we'd find a few of them by now. That's a problem. All right, we only have 30, <coughs> excuse me, 33% gas. Okay, I think we're, let's look at the map. Yeah, we need to head back. We're too far too far out, I think, considering the fact that we're going to run out of fuel. Let's go back on this side. I mean, there might... I guess there could be more oil shell in that mine. I'd have to just dig it out more. There probably is. Because I just, you know, I don't think I've ever seen one... that uh, ran out that quickly. Might just need to dig down deeper. Oh, I meant to do that. So am I just getting some bad RNG here, or 
Is oil shale just more scarce in Rebirth? Alright, we're down to 14% gas. Alright, I think we're going to have to give up and go back into the forest because of the gasoline situation. Um, <clears throat> and I'll probably have to wrench a couple of cars just to even get back to the base. That's nitrate. What I could do is, uh, oh, is that some shale there? No, it's a, it's a nest. What I could do is go back, you know, to that first mine and, and just dig it out a little more and see if, if there's more down there. Okay, well, this is where we started. That's about it. Okay. Well, we got um, 1,350. It's not very much. <laughs> not very much at all, really. But we'll turn all that into gasoline. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I guess uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, we can siphon you. Red box truck. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the camera and um, just wrench a couple of cars on the way back to get enough gas to get back, and then we'll cook all this oil shale, shale up into gas. But knowing now that I don't have a semi-sustainable mine, um, we're going to have to stick with the moped for a little bit longer, I think. We got a chicken. <laughs> Can't make a coop yet, though. All right, let's stop off here for a second. Make some cobblestone and some limestone. And I'm going to just sell a couple things. Do I have any ammo to exchange? I don't think so. Oh, do you have mines? Special missions. Oh, chicken coop schematic. All right. I can show you how to farm some eggs and feathers, but it'll require you capture a few chickens out in the wild. You'll have to be quick. These suckers are fast. You'll have to get pretty close and make sure you have nothing in your hands. You'll also need to start farming some corn as they like to feed off corn meal. And if you don't supply them with enough food in their feed bucket, they will starve to death. Gather up some sticks as well as they will look for them in their feed bucket in order to build themselves a nest. Okay. Uh, start farming some corn. Okay. So we should. Oh, he's got recipes for those. Okay. Nope, he doesn't have mines in here. Farming seeds. A, bu a bundle of random seeds. Well, we got a bunch of corn seed, man, uh, that we got from that, uh, you know, Bob's Pores. things for sale. Even do it. My shop, my rules. You follow or you fuck off. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all of these engine parts back at the base, so let's just sell them now. I might keep the better... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to sell that, too. Sell all of this stuff. Going to keep the acid... Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, do you have any, um, casings? I don't think he does, because I Thank you very actually much. bought now some. Now you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I bought some from him earlier. 
Uh, do you have the mine shaft for sale? Mining. If I complete this mission, you will be rewarded. No, that's just the forge. Toxic. That's the workbench. That's the one we're going to buy if we can't find this damn thing. We already got a concrete. Uh, oh, there's... There's two chemistry stations? I don't know. Uh, decoys. Oh, you know what? We could do this one, too, if we can't find a shredder. Because I would really like to have that. Yeah, these are level 30. Not that one. Okay, so yeah, he doesn't have a um, mining schematic either. So I don't know how to do that. Not sure how that works. Let's grab all this out of here. Man, it looks so much different out here with all the trees gone. Okay, yeah, so we'll... Uh, when we get to it, we will start planting a bunch of corn. But the farm is like the th third thing on the to-do list right now. Or at least the second thing. Okay, let's do that. I thought I had another chicken somewhere. I probably do, but here, we'll just put him in there. We'll keep the honeycomb in here for the zombie putty quest. And let's make a bacon and eggs. And now we are going to make that much gasoline, which isn't a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's enough for now, right? But... Ah, oh, man, we wasted all that time and two vitamins. That's all we got. Sucks. I've got a few casings in here, but I don't have any gunpowder. i got to go mine it. All right. Stick you in there. have some casings there, too. Okay, well, let's go, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go see if we can hit a couple POIs. Okay, we're looking, we're still looking for residential kitchens and preferably ones that aren't too, uh, too difficult because of the fact that we don't have a lot of ammo. So in other words, everything's going exactly the way it always does. <laughs> um... I wonder if a motel or an apartment building would be good because places like that tend to have um, a lot of uh, I bet I got that last shot off. We wasted a little bit of meat, but that's right. Uh, you know, they tend to have a lot of microwaves in those types of places. What is this? Is this just a big-ass house, or what? Kind of looks like apartment buildings. What level is it? Oh, fuck. That's, <laughs> that's tier 4. No, we're not doing tier 4 right now. Foods and brews. You guys did say to look in the in a, a tavern or a bar for a distiller. Well, for a distiller. We don't really need a distiller, but this is only a one star, so... We could pop in here really quick. How are you supposed to get in there? You know what? Uh, Prowling Pete's might have a microwave. We really need to just look in the kitchen area, though, not... Worry about doing the whole damn thing. So, is this the kitchen area? Yeah, but it's got a fucking microwave. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh, I was gonna make the steel axe. Got to. I'll have to do that for the next episode. Oops. Oh, here's the loot. Okay. Two microwaves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, there's one of our vitamins back. That guy didn't even wake up. Cookie pot. Yeah, there's some more loot in here. At some point when we feel like we have a little bit of extra bank, we should go buy those two uh, recipes from the farmer, the meat stew and veggie stew, I think it was. There's some brass. Uh, there's something up here. Oh, it's food. That's going to be cornmeal there. Only one. And probably also here, too. All right, so that's 16 cornmeal there. Let's pick both of these up and then let's move. I don't want to spend any more time here because this was the kitchen. And, well, okay, there is a food... There's a food thingy here. Any microwaves in here? Duffel bag? I think it is. Hey, vitamins. I guess we're clearing the place. <laughs> we might as well now, right? We might as well now. Those aren't lootable. Um. Oh! Not lootable. Damn it. Uh, are the rest of the... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we finished it. Uh, airdrop? Yep, we got an airdrop. Way the hell over there. Okay, we're going to do the airdrop. And, God, this is going to... We're not going to have a whole lot of ammo, but maybe what we'll do is we'll pipe, uh, pop a red tea and just use Molotovs. We'll see. Okay, let's... Um, Offload some stuff so I'm not encumbered.
Let's take uh, this red tea. And Nick, you're in good health, okay? Uh, we could stand to pop one of these. Let's get the grenades also on the toolbar. And let's do this. Okay, where's all the bad bats? Oh, there they are. Okay. Ooh. There's a big, big mama. That's not just big mama. That's a big, big mama. I want to... I want to try and gather them up here. Okay, let's just park here because we're on red tea, so we can run fast. All right, let's also bring you out. Oh, fuck. Catch, big mama. Gather around, children. There's a buffer. Man, they're like all over the fucking place. Come on, guys. Group up here. There's lots of buffers. Fuck off, dog. Okay, let's get... Oh, man. Okay, how much ammo do I have? Not a ton. Okay, good. We got a buffer right here. Is he dead? Nope, he's not. Well, you know, there is another way we could play this. And that is to, um... Okay, good. We got the doctor down. We can just pull them way far away from the loot. And then just ninja it. through the fire here. Okay. Let's check this bag. You. Oh, fuck. Oh, they, they pinned me, man. I couldn't get out. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, I, they, they uh, basically hemmed me in. And I couldn't get out. Mm. Okay. So, um... Yeah, they're all still over there. Oh. 
Can we... No. There's no way we're going to get to that first. All right. Let's pull them this way. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is let's just let's just pull them all away and then we'll run back and ninja the the drop because I don't know if I have enough wherewithal to kill all these guys. So let's try it. We only have seven Molotovs left, so. You fucking butcher. God damn it. Get the fuck out of here. Nope, he's not dead. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to make it now. Yowzers. Ah, uh, shit. Cock Yeah, so we have 48 rounds left. We have seven Molotovs left. I have no, no idea how... Uh, Nick is probably dead. Yeah, Nick's dead. Fuck. I don't know how much help Big Mama has left. Um, okay, well, let's try it again. I mean, pull them as far away as we can, and then it's just that some of them seem to linger at the, uh, at the drop, right? And maybe that's by design. I don't know. Yeah, see, clear out. God damn it. Fuck off. Nope, not going to make it. Okay. Um. Dexterity is level 5. That's good. Okay. Let's go over here. Try it again. One of the problems, you know, that you run into with this mod is that um, you just you run out of of resources to to kill all these zombies, you know, to do all these fights. Okay, let's yeah. See, some of them are still hanging out over there. I don't know if it's just because they're getting stuck or what. See if we can get it this time. Yeah, I know, I know we've got a lot of criticals and shit going on too, but... Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Got it. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, that was tough. <laughs> that was tough, man. Should we poke our head in this passing gas and see if there's a microwave? No. 
God, I love red tea. It's awesome. Oh, there's some shale here. Okay. Um, note to self. We can't really stop and get it right now because that horde is still chasing us. we got to get further away than this. Um, maybe we go back on this end of town. We haven't been over on this end of town in a long time. And hit a couple kitchens. What about this place here? Oh, shit. Now what? We're infected. We have a sprained arm and an abrasion. Um... I have herbal antibiotics back at home. Uh, this will take care of the abrasion. Okay, that wolf stopped chasing us. Don't have anything for the infection. Uh, we're hungry, so let's eat some of this. What's that? Oh, that must have come in the drop. A repairable table saw. Interesting. Uh, oh, nice. We got another triple pocket mod, too. See, it was worth getting that, as hard as it was. Um, it was definitely worth getting that. Beautiful. Uh, we got a couple fish tacos, too. Um, yeah, let's eat those. That gives 20 food. That'll get us really close to topped off. Uh, we're not too bad on hydration. We've got three red teas left. And it looks like our other red tea buff is gone. All right. Um, is there a stump around here? Oh, there's one of those big ass bears. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know that wolf was accurate of me. Oh. Okay, uh, that's wrecked. Yeah, this is where we started in this part of town. I haven't been back here in a long time. That was the house we were going to move into, and then I decided not to. Um, this house is pretty... Uh, it's probably at least a tier three. Yeah, it's a tier three. We were, this place would be cool to live in. Uh, it's a tier five, though. <laughs> yeah, we won't be doing that anytime soon. Uh, we already looted this gas station. That's where we got our forge from. Ooh, that's really stuttery over that way. Probably because we woke up all the Zeeks. There's another wolf. Um. Okay. So, yeah, I've got 26 rounds left. That's the radio station. Not likely we're going to find a tabletop stove in Buddy's Grain. What do we have over here? We have Greg's Garage, Waffle House... Okay, there's going to be a kitchen in the Waffle House. Maybe we ought to check that. And there's a stump, too. Waffle House is just a tier one. Come on, honey. I mean, ah, fuck. Honey's not going to cure our infection, but it'll slow it down. But like I said, I, I've got multiple herbal, or, uh, herbal antibiotics back at the house, so... We'll just have to take a couple of them if, if that's what it takes. I want to pop into the kitchen here. Uh, we don't have... Oh, we had... Hmm. I got to think about this, man. We don't have our dog. And we don't have any ammo. Okay. Let's... Uh, Burning shaft mod. Let's 
switch schematic. What did we get too, by the way? Health assessment tier one. Okay. We might be able to save that. What does this do? Increase fire rate by 2% on your hands. 2%, huh? Uh, what do I have on there now? Muffled connectors or no block damage. And the auto loot. Yeah, 2%. Eh, I don't think so. Let's just. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Quick, get this over here. Okay, now we can run fast. Yeah, if we can actually draw all these guys away. I do have seven more Molotovs. Oh, and I have some. Big Mama, step in the fire. You know you wanna. You might be fast, asshole, but I'm faster. Oh shit, stamina. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I crashed! Oh, why, 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 why? What has this happened to me? That's my second crash on Rebirth. <sighs> Which actually, considering how many hours I've been playing it, it's not bad. All right, let me restart. All right, I'm back. Uh, zombie Charlotte's still here. Ah, uh, okay. So. What's the deal over here? Did this, uh, yeah, it just reset because we just stuttered. So, once again, all for naught. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can spot. See, I see a microwave over there. So the chances of there being a stovetop in here are pretty much non-existent. All right, I'm not fighting these guys again. All right, guys. Uh, let's see here. Everything that we're going to sell, we'll keep in here. And um, take the rest upstairs. That we need to grind. Hey, we're over $10,000. Uh, That's pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and pop that um, honeycomb that I have that I was saving for the zombie putty because I don't want to take two herbal antibiotics. So we'll pop one of those and then I'll take an herbal and that'll take care of our infection. And I, I just need to go out in the woods and hit a bunch of stumps, which I can do off camera. That's not a big deal. Uh, let's offload that. So yeah, let's take that and one of these. Should have left that down in the car. Uh, okay, so this is a tier one parts bundle, so we'll open that. We got another tier one parts bundle. We have, um, I think that's uh, charisma. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's, if we can get. We gotta get to level two and then we can read that book and get another dog. Uh, recipe injection. Wait, we gotta do this first. Okay, see how close that got us. 
Yeah, not, <laughs> not very close. Okay, we got a ways to go yet. Definitely have a ways to go on that. All right. Um, so this is just another health assessment tier. Can, um, I think, can we make the next one with two of these? Yes. Okay, so I think what we can do then is go here. Look at that. Hot damn. Okay, nice. So now we can see feral zombies and medium hostile animals. What is a medium hostile animal? A wolf, maybe? I don't know, but I'll take it. All right, good. Um, a 2% increase in fire rate does not impress me. Uh, and that would take a hand slot. I like 10% block damage while mining better i mean i guess we could take the muffled connectors out but minus five percent noise is useful more than probably two percent fire rate so we'll hang on to this because maybe we can you know um make something better later but yeah we got that upgraded uh mod for health bar so that's going to be good all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let you go here. Um, I think that uh, I don't know what to do in the next episode. I, we should just take the goddamn quest. <laughs> um, I think we will. That That's t the tentative plan for the next episode. Is we're going to take the quest to get the recipe for the tabletop stove um, and just and go with it. So with that being said, thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.